We begin tonight with in-depth coverage of the historic floods. Today, the flood cleanup effort continues in many parts of the state. For many communities, it's the start of a long and painstaking process. And for some businesses, it could be months before the recovery is complete. That's the case for the Shaw's supermarket on Warwick Avenue in Warwick, where the store has to essentially start from scratch. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler is live in Warwick with more on the rebuilding effort. Well, it may feel like summer outside, but here inside Shaw's, you can still feel the remnants of last week's floods. Take a look, empty shelves and rotted floors, almost a construction zone in here. And at one point last week, the water levels actually reached the bottom of this shopping cart, rushing through the doors of the store and destroying everything inside. Cleaning crews clear merchandise from the devastated Warwick Avenue Shaw's, where floodwaters surged through the building last week. All of the product, that was affected by over two feet of water was taken off those shelves and floated around the store and then ended up all over the store. You couldn't walk through the store. Sitting on the Patuxent River, the grocery store's parking lot often sees minor ponding during heavy rains. But the historic floods brought more than two feet of water inside. These photos of the aftermath show the sheer force of the rushing water. But I was taken back with a level of mud and silt and dirt that came in with the water again. Um, I felt like I was on a beach at low tide. Workers are now removing refrigerators, display cases, and shelves to clear the way for interior construction. Crews will strip the tile floors and five feet of drywall, rebuilding everything from scratch. By the weekend, we'll be back to a shell, um, exterior walls, and a roof, and a concrete floor. And then we'll put the store back together from there. So essentially, it will be a brand new store. And this store is expected to reopen in about 8 to 12 weeks. Now the Shaw's development team will be meeting tomorrow to come up with long-term strategies to prevent this type of flooding in the future. Live inside the Warwick Avenue Shaw's with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.